All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to download and then edit this Jeopardy template. Uh, I think it's the best one you can find out there. I tried a lot of them and took the best from all of them. And so what you do, go on here, youthdownloads.com, click this Jeopardy. Um, talks about the different features of it, sound effects, customization, interactive board, daily double, final Jeopardy, all these. And it's got like a brand new interface. So um, this is how you do it. You just go here and you can see that there's a donate if you want to. Uh, we really appreciate this. It helps us get back to you even sooner and helps us keep everything going. Uh, so you just go ahead and put your email address. So read at You can put whatever you want in here. Um, zero dollars does work, but you could also put a different amount. So if I put zero dollars is what happens. I'm just going to generate a link. Say so get download link right here. So it's going to send that to your email. You go check your email. Hit refresh. All right, so there it is. Showed up. And then it says, here you go. Thank you for your payment. Click the link. I click this. You see it's showing up down here. All right, there we go. It's done downloading, so I can just hit uh, open. All right, so just go ahead and click this button right here, enable editing, and spam this. So I'll just show you quickly what the run through looks like. Uh, but this is just a basic scene where it would show you today's categories. So um, you just scroll over. It's going to show you the categories. You put your category one here, and there's six categories. So you, you would give your people the six categories first, and then you would go to the game board. So here's our game board. So basically, you're going to go in here, and you're going to type in whatever they are. Whoops. So you would edit this, put your stuff in here, and then when you click on a different one of these, it's going to take you to that one. So this would be category one for 100 points. When you click on this, then you would type in $100 category one answer. And remember, Jeopardy, you provide the answer, then they ask the question, and then it would show you your question right here. And at any point, you click here, go back to the board, and uh, now you can see this one is darkened out, so you know you've already done this one. Um, the double jeopardy on this one, I believe, is on the 500, and this is what it will do. So then it comes up and just lets you know that it's worth twice as many points. That's the daily double. Instead of really being worth 500, be worth 1,000. Um, go back here to the home. You see, that one's grayed out. And then at any point after you're done asking these questions, you can go to final jeopardy. So that brings up your final jeopardy. You know, you can put your last answer, your last question here, let people do their wagering. Um, you also have all the same sound effects. So exit out of here. We'll go back to the template and I'll show you how to edit it. It's really easy. Um, here are today's categories. So you would just write here. Okay. Um, you as All right, um, so then you write that, go all the way in here, and then you're going to go ahead and go to your board. Go in here, go So then you would go with that category and uh, category one answer. So you might write something like, you know, this state has a as it state verb. Sorry, I'm terrible typing. Um, you go for your answer. You can write in here. You know what is California? So then you'd go through that and do it. Set all your other questions in space like that. And basically, this is how it's going to come up when you hit play. <laughs> So let's go to 100 U.S. states. Somebody still take U.S. states for 100. Click on that. This state has a quail as a state bird. You go ahead and give their answer, and you say, "What is California?" That's the question. So it's basically all you're going to be doing is you go and you kind of set your states in here like this. And uh, yeah, just remember the final the uh, 
what's it called? Daily double is on the category five right here. You can actually change that if you want to. So let me show you how to change that. Um, what you're gonna do, exit in the show. Um, you can see right here, if I right click on this, edit hyperlink, this is gonna direct you to a slide number. And so basically that's the way this whole system works is it directs you to like a hyperlink to a slide. So if you wanted to change that daily double, what you would do is you would uh, move the daily double to a different slide and then you would go in here and change it like this. So um, let's go down here to 58 which is where it was. So if I were to move this to 60, which is right here, now this is gonna be um, right before, it's gonna be category six, 100. So the way that you would edit that, to move that daily double, go back to the home board, go here, and this one, you actually make this one, um, send this to, 60. Now 60 is the daily double because this one is linking there. Click that and let's see what this one is linked to. Um, hyperlink. It needs to be moved to back to um, 58, which would be category 5 um, for 500. So you just change that one um, and you'd save it. And now category 6 is going to be the daily double. So you just have to make sure that you update the slides. Um, and any of the slides that are in between it, you want to fix those. So it might be a little advanced, it might be a little confusing, but basically just know that each one of these is a hyperlink to a slide number, and you can tell the slide number by looking at this number here and uh, knowing where that's supposed to direct. The other good thing is that all of these are auto-fitting, and so um, you can see as I add more stuff to it, you know, I don't have to keep moving the background or the box. It's just going to keep, you know, centering and it's going to, you know, fit in that little area. So you don't have to be trying to move everything around, which makes it really nice when you're doing a bunch of these. So um, auto fitting, it's got the music, it's got all the sound effects. Uh, let me know if you guys have any problems and enjoy.